You've heard me say it many times. Selling options is safer and more consistent than buying options. However, what if I told you that there's a certain strategy which can mitigate some of that risk to where buying options wouldn't be as risky as they normally would, but you could still benefit 70 or 80% of that massive gain if the stock moves in your direction. Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'm gonna explain how to run this strategy. Hey guys, Corey here. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe and tap the bell if it's your first time and give me a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel grow. So I was in my Discord today teaching some students some buying strategies and I figured I would share these strategies with you guys showing you how you can mitigate risk while still maintaining most of the upside while buying calls or puts. Buying strategies are really powerful if you know how to implement them. If you're just buying options in general, it's very risky. We talk about a lot of these strategies in the Discord and if you guys are interested in want to become a better trader and want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching and access to a Discord full of like-minded people that learn from one another. If you guys are interested, you guys can do so at any time at investwithcorey.com right there on the screen, but you have to hurry up because limited spots remain in my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I only have so many slots per month available and when they're full, they're gone. I hope to see you guys over there. But getting back into the strategy at hand, today we're going to talk about debit spreads and it's a very powerful strategy. I just want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm just here to give you guys tips, strategies, financials, technicals, fundamentals, and give you guys an overall better understanding of the market. However, it's ultimately up to you to decide which stocks you want to buy and how much of a position you want to hold in those stocks as it's your money. The strategy that we're talking about today is a debit spread. I want to show you guys how you can buy calls, but finance the cost of those calls to make them cheaper. This way you can still make some really good profits, but it costs less and there's less risk to enter into that position. I'm going to show you guys how to do this on a couple of different stocks. Let's get going. First, when you're looking to run this strategy, you really want to pick a good stock. And for the first two examples, I'm going to show you guys Robinhood and American Airlines. Now, American Airlines is a situation where you're going to want to go out further. Like we're going to want to go out past the next earnings date, which is July 18th. So we're going to want to go out to like July 19th. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at America. We're going to go ahead and look at American Airlines. Let's do that right now. And we're going to pick July 19th. We already have that. We're going to buy call first. And American Airlines is likely to go to $14, $13, $14, depending on how earnings are. So we have two options. We can buy the 13 and then sell the 14 or buy the 14, sell the 15. Let's buy the 13. Then we click sell, sell the 14. And you can see our cost is $11. If the stock price goes above $14, we will make 89 from 11. This is massive. This is a 10x return, basically. We're turning $11 into 100. It's basically a 10x return or a thousand percent. Now, if we're not sure that American Airlines is going to go to 14, we can go a little bit lower, pay a little bit more premium. If we weren't selling the $14 option, this would cost 21. $10 more. Of course, we'd make more profit. However, if American Airlines was to go to, let's say, $14, we'd make $79, but we're paying $21. Whereas if we sell the $14 and the price goes to $14, we make $89. We make more money at half the price. The only way that buying the call without selling the other call, the short position to finance it, the only way buying the long call by itself is better is if American Airlines goes above 14 and beyond. But if American Airlines stops around 14 or 1420, somewhere in that range, then it's much better to finance it by selling the short position one leg above the long position. Now, if we don't think that American Airlines is going to go to say $14, then we will just buy the $12 and sell the 13. This costs $26 to make 74, but American Airlines only has to go to $13. So this is more likely to happen, but the gain isn't as much. This is like a 3x return versus a 10x return. If we look at this on Robinhood, if we look at this on Robinhood, same thing, we're going to go out to about July 19th. Let's just look at when their earnings is on Robinhood. July 31st. You want to go out pretty close to earnings, but they're pretty volatile right now and they're tear. So we may not have to go to August 16th. We'll just look at July 19th for now. I think a realistic bet is that in the next month or two, Robinhood could see $24. So we would buy a 23 and we would sell a 24. 
$70 into $71. Now, one little piece of advice, just because it says that you're only making max profit at $71 and you're only starting to make profit at $23.29, that's only at expiration. If you set this up for $29 right now and then Robinhood goes up a dollar or two this week, you can sell this like you would a long call for more than you paid for it. So you're going to pay a debit to open it and you can sell it for more than you paid if the stock price goes up after you buy it, just like a long position. So it doesn't mean that you have to hold it till expiration. Like you could pay $39 or $29, excuse me, to open this. And then in three days, if the price goes up by a dollar, you could sell it for 50 or 51 and double your money or whatever. Like you could do that. that that's not out of the question at all. We click continue. You, you're going to see right here, $29 cost. You might be able to get it for 25 or 27, but realistically you buy it. The stock price goes up even 50 cents. You could sell it for five, six, seven dollar profit. This is easy to do, but it's ultimately worth the most amount of money on expiration day because of the short position and the money that you're gaining from that because you're collecting a premium. And as that position expires, you still got to collect that juicy premium, which means the long position was cheaper. And as the short position decays, its value is impacting the long position even less. So you can see that we're buying the 23 right here, buying the 23 for $1.79, selling the 24 for $1.40. So when we get to expiration on expiration day, this $1.40 is probably only worth $40. So there's a dollar that fell off, which means there's $1 less affecting the price of your long position, which you will notice that this contract or this debit spreads worth the most value on expiration day between noon and 3 p.m. And it's going to be when the stock price is close to our 24 strike. Now that's where it's going to be worth the most money. But no matter where the stock price is, if it's, let's just say at 22 or 23, it's still going to be worth more on expiration than it would on Wednesday. So if you buy this for $29 on say Monday, and then the stock price only goes up 50 cents, it's still going to be worth more as you get closer to expiration because of the short position. And the long position is obviously closer to the money or in the money because the short position is further away. And that is what's going on here. You're buying the 23, selling the 24. So if the stock price is anywhere near 23, the 24 is decaying faster and has less value. Therefore, you are profiting more the closer you get to expiration. Another one of my favorite stocks, let's look at a firm and what happens over here. Now, earnings on a firm, let's see where it's at. I, you think I would remember this since I trade a firm a lot. August 22nd. So we're going to have to go out to August on this one. Maybe we'll go out to September 22nd. A firm by September and going through a good earnings, a firm could trailblaze. Like they could go to $50 quite easily. It's happened before. And this stock moves a lot. So realistically, I could see doing a $40. We would do $40 and sell a $42.50. We could get in for $40 to make $210. And this is really not out of the question. Believe me, when I say a firm can move on earnings, five to eight dollars in a matter of 30 minutes. So to think about this scenario, can a firm go from $30 to $42, $12 in four months or three months? Yes, it can do that quite easily. $40 instead of paying $207. Because this is a really, really long position. This is going out almost four months. So $40 to make 210 is a lot. Now we could bring this back, which I would recommend because this is quite a ways out. We could probably bring this back to July 19th. Realistically, we could do a 35 and sell a 37.50 because this is pretty doable. 35 to make 215. So this is a really Really good return. This is like a 6x or a 7x return in a month and a half. This is really good. Now, if you want to go a little bit more gutsy and go with a 40, a little more aggressive, this is $26 to make 224. This right here is like a 9x return, 9 or 10x return. This is what I probably would run. A firm going to $40 in the next month, a little risky because it's not quite close enough to earnings. If I was going to run this, I would do the August 16th, which is a week before earnings. It'd be a lot safer. It's going to be a little more expensive, but we could do that. 
that, we would just pick August 16th. I would be a lot, you know, happier running the 37 and $40 setup. This debit spread for August would be better. So we could see $40, 38 to 212. There's a pretty big bid and ask spread going on. We might get filled at 36 possibly. So we could get this down maybe to 35 or 36. So again, this would be about a 6X return in two months, a little over two months. This is a really good way uh, to set this up. If a firm goes to say, I don't know, $41, we still make 212. If we don't sell the short position, a firm goes to $41, we're only making $30 more, but the cost is 147 versus 38. So if a firm only goes to $42, which is a dollar above the strike price we're selling or $2. So if a firm goes to $41, which is only a dollar above the $40 strike price we're choosing, because that's the short position we're selling. If it goes only $1 above, we would only stand to make $30 extra profit. But instead of spending $147, we're only spending 38. This is what makes debit spread so powerful. We cannot lose any more money than $38. So no matter what a firm does, even if a firm went bankrupt and went to zero, we can't lose any more than 38. So if you're feeling really aggressive and you want to sell 10 contracts, it'll cost you $380 and you can make $2,000. What makes this so powerful is instead of buying one contract for 147 by selling this short position, we could actually buy five contracts for just a little bit more, maybe four. There we go. For the price of one contract, we can actually buy four or yeah, we could buy four. So why would we buy one contract and if a firm goes to 41, we make 240, whereas we could buy four contracts for basically the same money. And if a firm goes to 41, we make 848. So 848 versus one contract at 238, we make four times the money and it costs the same. Now, granted, if a firm goes to $60 or I don't know, let's see how far this goes. If a firm goes to 43.50, there's 455. So realistically for us to make $888, a firm would have to go to 47 or 147. We can sell the 40. Now we can afford to buy four contracts. And if a firm doesn't go to 48, which it's unlikely to do, it only has to go to 40 and we can make $848. So instead of buying one contract and hoping a firm goes to 48 or 49, it only has to go to 40 and we get to buy four of these debit spreads to make $800. So there's the same risk as buying one contract, but a firm doesn't have to move as much. So less movement, less risk, and the same or more profits. That's what makes debit spread so powerful. And it works the same way with puts. A good candidate for puts, NVIDIA. I'm kind of bearish on NVIDIA right now because the forward split, when they do that, it's going to pull back a little bit. It may go up a little bit first, but then it's going to pull back. Ultimately, this is happening real soon in June. So by July or August, ultimately, there's going to be a pullback. Now, hypothetically, forget about the forward split. I'm still short term in the next few weeks, slightly neutral bearish on NVIDIA. So let's just say it's going to go down. We're going to use it as an example for puts. Let's say we're going to go out to July 19th and you want to buy a put for $950. This is going to cost $1,600. Well, if we sell the leg below it, which is 945, now instead of costing a $1,600, it's only costing $88 and we could still make $412, a 4X return. We cannot lose any more money than $88. As long as NVIDIA falls below $945, we make $412 juicy premium. Well, juicy profits. And if we don't sell this short position, it's costing $1,600 and we would make $400 if NVIDIA falls to 928. So NVIDIA would have to fall 20 more dollars to make the same profit, but we'd have to put up like a lot more capital, 16 times the capital, 16 times the risk, and the stock price would have to move 20 more dollars in that direction. So all three of those things would have to take place in order to make the same profit. Like it makes no sense. Why risk 1600 to make the same money, but the stock would also have to move 20 more dollars when we could just sell this short position, only risk 88, and we make 412 if the stock price falls below 945. Whereas someone who's not running the spread has to hope the stock falls to around 930 to make the same money we're making at 945 with a 16th of the risk. This is what makes debit spreads so powerful. And if you guys want to learn more on this strategy and a lot more in-depth, more calculated, and you want to ask me questions and you want me to coach you one-on-one, -on -one, you can join my Discord and my full training course, limited spots available.
available at any time at invest with Corey right there on the screen investwithcorey.com i would love to get to know you guys and teach all of you but i can't so only limited spots are available if you guys want to learn this strategy in depth and in full detail with me coaching you and mentoring you one-on-one -on -one. i'm hoping you guys learned something from the debit spread strategies i showed you guys today with calls or puts and not only the profits you can make but how much cheaper you can get into these positions and not only that how much risk you're cutting out and still leaving good profits on the table be sure to subscribe and tap the bell as well as give me a thumbs up as that really helps the channel grow i'm hoping you guys are learning something and you're enjoying the content thanks so much for being here be sure to sign up for the newsletter it's free right there on the screen investwithcorey.com forward slash newsletter tips and strategies delivered right to your mailbox we'll see you guys on the next video don't be sad i picked out one you guys are gonna love top five stocks to buy you need to buy them right now june of 2024 and that video is right here click it and i'll see you guys over there you're gonna love this one lots of great information on it hey remember until the next video let's grow our wealth together take care guys click the video i'll see you over there